Hi. <laughs> Let me tell you something about uh, land in Nairobi. I want to pose a question to you. Today, where can you buy cheap land in the suburbs of Nairobi around uh, a perimeter of, let's say, 30 to 50 kilometers? Because that is the ideal distance in which you can work from CBD and be able to commute to your own house. In this day and age, where can you get such land to construct with a budget of less than 1 million shillings. In fact, 1 million is an, an understatement. Okay, let me give you my story. This is a title deed. And it's in my names. I got the other day. This land is uh, around uh, 40 kilometers uh, from Nairobi. Let me go back a while, a little. I am from Central Province, Kiambu. And a lot of people have moved from Kiambu to Nairobi because of insecurity in most areas of uh, uh, Kiambu. Personally, I'm from Kikuyu area, uh, Kabete, Wangige, uh, Ngesha, those sides. And insecurity has forced a lot of people, let's say a couple of years ago, uh, to move out of those areas. And I was one of the victims. So I moved from Kiambu, came to Nairobi, and started renting where I was living in my own house. And I could commute daily from my home to Nairobi CBD and back home in the evening, either using uh, public transport or sometimes using my old jalopy. And by then, fuel was, was affordable. It, it was not expensive. So we could afford uh, to drive to Nairobi a distance of about 30, 35 kilometers uh, to and from every day. It was very uh, possible those days. But even today it's possible. So back to my story. So when I came to Nairobi, I rented a house in uh, uh, in Donholm. And then after some time, I moved from Donholm to Umoja, Umoja Estate. And I was paying for a two-bedroom house, I was paying a rent of 8,000 shillings. That was uh, between 2005 and 2007. So, a colleague of mine kept saying, Leo naenda kwa shamba. Every weekend. So, I asked her, this shamba you go to in Nairobi, where is it? I would like to know where that shamba you go to in Nairobi is. And jokingly, she asked me, you are interested to, to know where my shamba is? Yes. So she gave me a number of uh, a land agent and gave me the directions where to go. And that was in Utawala around June of 2007. So the very same weekend, I came to Utawala, called that agent. We met and I told him, my friend keeps saying uh, she has land here. I, I want to know what uh, is available here and at how much. That was at the shopping center around shopping center and the plots were going for around uh, 300 between 300 and 450,000 shillings uh, uh, plots of uh, 40 by 80 and 50 by 100 so the guy told me you can get plots around the shopping center sorry for the airplane we're just close to the airport guy, the guy told me you can get a plot around the shopping center between 300 and 500,000 Kenya shillings so I told him, my budget is a bit tight. Can I get something around uh, 200,000 shillings to 300, but close to the shopping center? Now, the guy told me around shopping center, it will be impossible with that budget. But there is a place I can show you that I have some very good plots uh, within your budget. Uh, let me take you there. So the guy brought me where I am today. And I came and I saw the land. I liked it. 
uh, I used to work along Mombasa Road. So from Mombasa Road to this place, it's about 15 to 16 kilometers. So that would take me 20 minutes to get to the office. And in the evenings, around 30 minutes, half an hour maximum, to commute from my place of work to where I am today. And that's how I got this land. In 2007, Utawala, you could get land with 200,000 shillings to 300,000 shillings. Fast forward to 2022, Utawala has grown exponentially, very fast. The road is being dual carried. And the time that I bought this uh, place, there was no tarmac to Utawala. In 2007, there was no tarmac to Tawala. Tarmac would end at PTC. After a few years, I bought it in 2007, started construction uh, in July 2007. And by December, my home was half done. And I moved in without uh, finishing touches. And I completed my house while I was residing uh, in the house. So... Within six months, I had constructed my house and I was living in my own house. So, the Eastern Bypass was constructed around 2011, 2012. That's when the Eastern uh, Bypass Road was constructed. It was uh, commissioned by uh, former late president, Mwai Kibaki. And construction took about uh, two years and the road became quite busy because it became a very important link between Thika Road and Mombasa Road. And in 2021, December, the construction of dueling the road uh, commenced and it's projected to have completed in June 2022. We are in July 2022 and about 80% of the road has been done. So basically, between 2007 and 2022, that's a period of about uh, 14, 15 years, Utawala has completely transformed into a metropolitan town. Now, today, the land that we could get with less than 500,000 sh shillings is impossible to get with that budget. In fact, with 500,000 shillings, that's uh, we can't discuss about land price in Utawala. And the, the amount you could get a plot with in Utawala is from 2.5 million upwards up to 20 million today. From prices of about uh, 200,000, 250,000 to over 10 million shillings. For instance, the court that have constructed my house, there are a few plots which are remaining, about uh, three or five of them. And the minimum price now, as we talk, is around 7 million shillings. And the plots are titled. They are, they are not certificate plots. They have proper title deeds. So land has become very impossible to get in convenient places. And by convenient places, it means somewhere you can build a home to live and commute to work and back uh, every day. So this is the last frontier. So today, You've started uh, life. Maybe you got your, you got a job. Uh, you have a young family, and you want you want to own a place of your own and build your own houses and come out from the slavery of paying rent. So the options are very few, and if they are there, you have to cough a lot of money for that. And it's not a big piece of land. Land in it, around here is from 30 to 40, 40, 60, 
most of the areas you'll find uh, 40 by 80 and a few places 100 by 50 or 50 by 100 and it's actually not there so without a budget of uh, let's say 5 million shillings it would be very difficult to get land at a convenient place in Utawala so what options do people have and maybe you're starting life you don't have that kind of money it's out of your way Along Kangundo Road, there are some areas you can get land with a budget of between 500,000 Kenya shillings to 2 million shillings. Prime land. But now the distance has increased. Where else from CBD to Tawala is about 20 kilometers? you'll find uh, from CBD, that is uh, Central Business District, Nairobi, to let's say a place like Joska, Roai, Mala, it's about 40 to 50 kilometers. But that is a very manageable distance if you're walking around, around Nairobi area, let's say Mombasa Road, uh, CBD, Westlands, once you're in Nairobi, you can manage to move around to those places. So people do commute from those areas uh, to Nairobi. So in my next part, the next frontier, I will take you to Mala town along Kangundo Road, where you can be able to get land with a minimum budget of half a million shillings to two million shillings, and that will be prime land which will be between uh, 5 kilometers to a maximum of 20 kilometers from Kangundo Road. Again, remember, there were plans to do all Kangundo Road from Umoja Caltex Junction all the way to past Mala. So construction work uh, didn't begin, but they had, they had cleared the road. And maybe that's a project that will take place in the near future and just like utawala uh, what is happening in, in utawala you will find in another 10 years mala area joska area will just be like utawala so please check on my second video which is the next frontier and that is land at kangundo road